moving on. So I'm going to take the collision layer here and put it in change. So it's going to be part of the agent definition. I am going to drop down an agent configure joins. I'm going to put that after the clips here. So usually when I do these kinds of things, I'm also going to go and deselect the clip here. So usually when I do these things, I go through all the bones and I just add the limits one by one and uh, set them up completely manual. I find that a lot of times that gives you much better control. But in this case, just because the rig is a bit messy and we have pre-baked rotation and all kinds of stuff in it, in this case, it's actually easier just to use the agent clips to help to set the starting points. That is super easy to do. You just connect the agent configure joins after the agent clips, uh, and then you uh, press this here, create limits for collision layer, and then it goes through all the clips and see how, how the agent is moving within those clips, and they use that to set up the rotational limits. So you can see here we have some limits. You can also see that we have some weird rotations baked into the rig, making this cone pointing straight up, which maybe is not super easy to figure out by yourself. But cool, so we have this. Let's see what we have. I'm going to drop down a test simulation ragdoll. And then let's see. And you see he's breaking a half, and that is not what we want. Uh, there, there is a quick fix for this actually. You can go to constraints and check this pin root collision shapes because it's the hips that is not connected to the spine. And that puts a hard constraint in there. So it's kind of work. But I find a lot of times these hard constraints causes a lot of problems later. So I try to keep everything as cone twist. So let's make sure that we set that up. Uh, so I, I uncheck this. I'm going to go back to this alien configure joints. And let's see what we have. In this case, it's actually easier if we just go through here and look at the name here. And then we will find, let's try to find spine bone one. And you can see the spine bone one, for some reason, it has parented with the SRT, and that is not what we want. So we want this to be the hip. So let's just go in here, in the SRT, and let's select the hip. We've got an issue here, it just gets it completely off with, with the position. But we can get that back, just to use this initialize from animation clip, and now it's up here. So that's cool. Uh, next thing we're going to do with this, though, is I, I'm going to take away the twist. We might introduce that later, but for now, let's not have it. And then I'm going to take away this rotation range, and then I'm going to set this to 30. Cool. But you see one thing, is that we have this twist axis, which is the blue one, that is going straight down, but we want to twist around a bone. So I want to I want to orient it so it's pointing with this bone here. You can either right click and you have all these handles here. I want to use this child rotation handle, or you can just click Shift O, and then you can just orient it. And you can see it's changing here. And you see it's getting close to zero, so I should get just type zero. That's correct. And then we again, uh, I, can, I want another handle. No, I just want a rotation for the actual cone, which is here. And then if I press O, I can rotate that up. And same thing here, actually. I'm just going to type zero here. And that is almost done now. We can see that it's a bit skewed here. So I'm going to go back to Shift O. I'm just going to rotate it. And then I'm going to set the same thing for uh, the cone rotation. So go here, and I'm just going to line these guys up here. Something like that. Cool. Okay, let's see if that works. Doom. So now it's sticking together. So that's a good beginning. Yeah, let's let's refine it further. 